Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching it. This is Dolly, and I am back with my July homemade kit for how to kill a kit with style. And this is a fun summer series. It started in June, and it'll go for July and August. I don't think we're going to do September, but we might. Just stay tuned. So there's several of us YouTubers that have combined our years of talents to show you many different ways how to work through your stash, how to put kits together, maybe even how to organize, but you'll pick up lots and lots of tips from all of us. And there are somewhere between 20 of us participating and their links to their channels are below. We will post our kits the first of the month and at the end of the month we will show share our layouts that we completed. I'm calling this July kit Share the Love. And the reason why is because I purposely didn't stay with one collection. I first picked out my papers, then I went to my pictures. The other thing is I want to try to get some more layouts done for my little guy's album from 2000, for 2017. And so that's the focus as well. So you'll see a lot of those type of photographs. So let's just get started and I'll move this aside. I did grab this scrap paper to tie in with this blue. Let's get started here. For the, the set of pictures here, which is my little guy's birthday from last year, I selected these two full sheets, 12 by 12, and they're both from Dear Lizzie. And the side that you're seeing is a side that I'm going to use. And this is from Lovely Day Collection, and this was from 2016. And this one is Stay Colorful, and it is from 2017. My thought right now is this will be my main paper and I will use um, the B side and the A side. So you have to stay tuned. So that's that one. I'm just going to set it to the side. I hope that's not distracting. You'll see a little bit of the edge of it. All right. This is photograph. I mean, lay, the next layout. And this would be... Um, also the day of my little guy's birthday and we are playing Foursquare. My niece and nephew are with us. All right, so for that, I picked Lovely Day from Dear Lizzie again, 2016. I'm using the yellow side. I'm using Dear Lizzie Stay Colorful. And again, this is from 2017 and the this is the side that I plan on using. Oh. And I picked this as well. I'm sorry. I also, Dear Lizzie, Stay Colorful. And that may be the main, the main page. Um, and the yellow, I thought I'd be using that as um, my mat. And, of course, whatever else. This next one is also from last year from Doodlebug Design. Dragon Tails, and this is 2017, and I plan on using this side, and same thing, Dragon Tails and that side, and I am going to use this side as the main and this as backing. As you can see as we're going through, what you will gather from watching my videos, I like to use a lot of pattern paper. All right, this is from last year, again, at the, this would be... I guess fall soccer. So I pulled my mind's eye and this paper is probably very, very, very old. This is from 2013. So I pulled that. I don't think that's going to be my main background. I'm not really sure. This one I'm not sure. Some I had an idea right away when I was when I was pulling the paper pulling the pictures to match the paper. This is from 2013 as well, my mind's eye. And then I have an Echo Park, and this is called the per A Perfect Summer, and this is from 2013. And on this one, 
I so wanted to use this Hustle and Heart from Amy Tan. It's not that old of a collection. I think it's 2017, but I got it right away. I just was very drawn to this, but then guess what? It sat in my stash and I didn't use it. And when I saw it today, I said, I'm pulling it out. Then this yellow one is from Hustle and Heart Amy Tan. And I pulled it to bring out some of this yellow here. If you see this green here, and then I have the red. And this would be the first day of school. This next one is from Close to My Heart Paper. This is called Fresh Air. All right. Then these two sheets are also from Close to My Heart. And I won't lie, when I saw this paper, I remembered this rock climbing place that we went to and I thought this would be perfect and again I'm working on scrapping his 2017 photos this next one is Cartabella Rustic Elegance and this is from 2015 now my final one is also an older picture so those are my pages now I work off a corner desk with shelving and it's actually for fly tying um, desk so on the left hand side of my desk when I am finished with an embellishment pack um, a kit I then sort it by colors and they go in these containers here and I tag them where, where we are so this is all red then I have so I have like red pink orange green gold mint brown blue black um, red yellow on one shelf on the next shelf because they're just there's three shelves on each side of the corner and then right in front of me where I've got this camera clipped on so then the next one I have it as fall spring winter outdoors see and then i have flowers and then i have a couple of them where i just really didn't use the embellish embellishment pack um, and i haven't gotten to the papers or the collections and so i'll mix them together and so like this one is maggie holmes so it's all mixed together until i get it broke down so so I guess what I'm saying is I have basically the full collection here that I haven't used I haven't used the papers so I keep it all together to my right and the reason why I'm going into this is why you're not seeing me pick out my embellishments uh, ahead of time and putting them here because they're right here very accessible I don't have to get into a drawer there it's open space and same thing with my distressed inks, my distressed paints, my um, dilution sprays. As you hear me, I'm just reaching over to the right. So there's one right there. And then I have, so the dilution is all down on one row. Then I have um, Heidi Swap, my ink pads, which I need to be using more. And then I have a few um, inklings that I received through my kits for the not seek the secret not so secret kit club so anyway those are all right there accessible you know I have my sequence in these little box right here on top of my desk corner desk is how I keep my washi tapes can you see that all right this video has gone too long and my dog is barking and so please stay tuned um, oh one more thing I pulled a few um, specialty papers so it's like a cardstock but it's real texture and so I might use some of that so I pulled two of those this is like a cardboard so this I thought would be good for the ones where he's BB hunt um, shoot with his BB gun and then some of this I used to use this and I'm sorry and I say this because I don't know what it's called but it's like a material but it always was in the scrapbooking section. I've had it for years. 
I pulled this old sticker collection and then also from from close to my heart I found these in my stash where you can paint them watercolor and there's frames tabs arrows so don't know but those were just items that are in a they are in a in a box so they weren't accessible they see you next time please go check out the other ladies thank you for your time have a great fourth of july see you later bye